Hey everybody, let's take a look and see what are the messages here for the collective. These are random messages, so some things are not going to apply. Oh, how did this get in here? What is this? <laughs> this is Answering Service. This is a song by um, Gerald Levert. It's actually in the wrong deck, or maybe, yeah, it is. All right, so someone may not be talking to someone, though. You could have someone blocked, or you're not answering the phone. You're sending them to voicemail. Yeah, someone saying that they don't deserve this. Talking to your answering service. They say they know they really hurt you deep. But since then, they haven't been able to sleep. Okay, so someone's thinking about you and the fact that you're not answering the phone for somebody here. Okay, past, present, or future energy here. I could definitely relate to that because <laughs> I definitely pulled that one. But um, if 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 the collective is not answering the phone, it's a reason. Somebody did something here. Hold on a second. I'm actually, I had dropped some cards, so I'm picking them up. All right. Now let's roll. Let's see what's going on. So some of you are not answering the phone for someone. You're sending them the voicemail. They're hurt. They want to know what's going on here, okay? What's going on here? Yeah, because somebody's on that grown woman shit. Somebody, you could be a feminine who's blocked the masculine. Or you could, however, whichever way, somebody's on their grown woman shit. Someone is not playing games with someone here. Someone could have heart circulation issues, circulation health to that. Okay, if you got to see a doctor, go ahead and see a doctor regarding circulation in your body. Okay. Something is too much to handle for someone. Yeah, maybe someone's overly jealous. Someone could be extremely jealous and it's just too much for somebody, okay? Because someone's like, you know, I'm a grown woman, I'm a grown man. I don't I don't need to be treated like, you know, I'm an object. I don't need you over my shoulder. Somebody's jealous. And that could become too much for someone to deal with. All right, what else? Yeah. Somebody's a real karmic. Maybe the karmic that you... Hold on. Maybe the person that you thought was a karmic is not a karmic. Somebody else is the real karmic here, okay? And you could be the one being loyal and faithful to the real karmic, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Be careful, guys. There's a, there's a wolf in sheep's clothing out here. Real jealous, okay? Somebody's the real karmic. And I feel like um, it's too much for somebody to deal with now. Because they're becoming overly jealous, doing too much. Pop green, the color green could mean something. This could deal with your heart chakra. Something with the heart. Okay. Green could be the color of, of I would say someone's car or just, I don't know. The green could be something to somebody. That could be someone's last name, too. You got two men and a baby. You could be a grown woman that's just focused on your money right now. But there's two men and a baby here. And um, I guess there's going to be some DNA testing going on with that situation. All right, so let's see. What else is going on? I feel like someone was dealing with a real karmic and now they could be caught up in a situation where there's a baby involved and another man and someone feels like it's too much to handle because they should have, they thought that they were dealing with a grown woman. They're dealing with a childish ass karmic who they were loyal to. Somebody was loyal to the child. Okay. Yeah, somebody not wrapped tight. That's the bottom line. Something is just too much to handle because someone's not wrapped tight. Let's see what, what else is going on here. Oh, black. So we have black and we have green out here. The family knows who they want to be with, okay? Someone could drive a black car. That could be someone's last name. Whatever black is. Or someone's a dark karmic because it's coming up under I'm the real karmic. Or, mm, I don't know. The family knows who they want to be with. It's like somebody 
whose family knows more than the actual partner who's a, who their who their family member want to be with and someone could be jealous you know that um someone could be jealous that someone wants to be with someone else that they notice you know someone could have dental health so we got circulation health and dental health out here uh, take care of those bodies especially the older we get the more maintenance is required so take better care of ourselves All right, let's see what else is going on here. We help each other to heal. So somebody has been with, has a healing connection out here. You two help each other to heal through situations. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I like that. What else is going on? Drink is coming out here. All right, you two could drink together. Talk over your issues. That's what I'm getting with that. We help each other to heal and drink. <laughs> oh, goodness. Get a second opinion, okay? Somebody needs to get a second opinion about something. This could be involving your health. It could be involving anything. Like, somebody needs to go back and, and ask more questions. Get a second opinion. What else? Let them all go. Yep. Somebody's going to let all the family go. It's up under the family knows who they want to be with. Yep. Somebody knows that the family is in on something, I feel. And they may let somebody's family. This could be in-laws or something like that. Somebody's getting a new job. Inside job. You got a new job, inside job. Coming to you as a man. Okay, so somebody's coming to this grown woman as a man. All right? So maybe somebody wants to talk. Maybe someone wants to get on the same page here or something. What else do we have? Nasty boss. Coming out in reverse, but I'm not taking reversals for this. Somebody has a nasty boss. Somebody could be always come back to you. Okay, so... There could be a confrontation at work. Somebody could be having an issue with their boss. Maybe someone's boss is always coming to them about something. Or something that someone said all says always comes back to you. What's this? Guiding you away from someone. Yeah. So you're being guided away from someone, but they keep always coming back to you. But I feel like someone could be coming to you as a man this time. Spirit of, yeah, somebody's in their pride and ego. Someone's kind of self-righteous. And you could be being guided away from this type of person because they're, they're so headstrong and full of strife. But your spirit guides are blocking an attack against you from someone. So someone's spiritually attacking you. Yep, I would drain your energy. You got an energy vampire here that is just trying to take your energy. I made a lot of mistakes, but I really love you. They love you. Wow. Okay. Somebody's coming to you as a man or a woman to try to correct something. Um, I don't know, though. They love you. So maybe someone else is, is attacking you? What? You got an energy vampire you're being guided away from. And then there's somebody who's apologizing because they really love you. Intuition. Use your intuition. Someone has a dark side. Something about someone's dark side. Someone could use their intuition for, for evil. Somebody's really broke or really broke in because of a breakup or something. Something's going on in someone's hometown, speaking to you in your dreams, warning you. A few more. Call me when you're call me when you're free and single. So someone's not single. And maybe someone lied, and that's why you are not talking to them, or you won't be talking to them. Yeah. Travel vacation. Don't rush into anything too quick. Get all the facts. Someone's 
traveling or vacationing. I feel like someone's not single. Don't rush into anything with this person, okay? Uh, that's what that's giving me. Time waster. You got a time waster here. They want to stay tonight. Someone wants to stay tonight. And they're just a time waster. Don't rush into anything. Get all the facts about some. Something is a waste of a fuck anyways. Even if someone stays the night, it's like they're a waste of your time. Whew, wow. But they're trying to plant something. Plant it. Sending mixed signals. Somebody's sending mixed signals. But then what plant it? What are they planting? Planted and mixed signals. Someone could have planted something in your home or they want to plant something in your home. That's why they want to stay tonight. But they may not get good signals to be able to, you know, hear what they're trying to hear or something like that. What? College? Someone could be in college, going to college, or somebody's about to get schooled. Yeah, watch your surroundings. If you're in college, watch your surroundings. Especially if you live on a college campus. Watch your surroundings. Sure, somebody's looking for a sugar baby at an event, concert, or music event. Oh, see. Bottom of this deck here is keep track tab monitoring. I'm getting attached to you. Somebody's getting attached to you. Well, I don't feel like this person is single. Somebody really loves you, though. Someone really loves you. You could be loyal to someone or someone's ready to come be loyal to you. They made a lot of mistakes, but they're sorry now. I don't know if they're the karmic because somebody's, somebody's spiritually attacking somebody. I don't know who is doing it to who. But someone's also sick, spirit of infirmity, sickness, disorders, lingering, cancer, oppression. All right, so someone has a lingering illness or they're struggling with their health right now. What else do we have? What else do we have? Spare tire. Someone may need to get a spare tire. Be careful about your, your vehicles, okay? And then you got someone here who, yes, yeah, somebody is oppressed, is demonically oppressed. I think it's manifesting in the form of a sickness. This is karma for someone. Someone who's dealing with a sickness. This is some karma. Hmm. Wow, that's not for everybody. But there is someone who is dealing with a, a lingering infirmity or something. It's it's a demonically oppressed it's an attachment. Somebody got an attachment. The color yellow. So we have green, black, and yellow out here. And somebody's lying about where they go. Wow, what's that all about? Somebody lying about where they go at. <laughs> Somebody might be lying even where they stay. Somebody could be lying that they're in college and they're not in college. I don't know. Somebody's send, sending flowers and gifts. Makes sense. It's the holiday season. Fulfilled. Yeah, somebody, well, fulfilled. Came out in reverse, but I'm not going to take reversals for this. But I feel like um, someone's going to be fulfilled with the flowers and gifts that they receive. Self-employed business owner. Someone is uh, self-employed or about to start their own business. Okay. I'm not jealous. It's the principle. So, yeah, once again, we got jealousy out here. You got a jealous person out here, and I feel like it's too much for someone to deal with. Or you're going to find out how jealous someone is. They're saying they're not jealous. It's the principle. I don't know. But someone's job searching, indeed, career builder. Or someone's trying to decide whether they want to look for another job or become self-employed. I'm not jealous. It's the principle. Yeah, that's some that's somebody saying that. I'm not jealous. It's the principle. Like what you what you talking to them for? And this and that. Yeah, somebody jealous. Somebody could be arguing with someone a lot. I'll be careful about traffic stops. 
Don't get caught up in a traffic stop. Make sure that all your stuff is legit because somebody may get stopped in traffic. All right. What else? Do you love them more than me? Oh, so, oh, yeah. There's a karmic out here. Somebody is upset. There's a jealous karmic out here. And the family knows that this person wants to be with someone else. Wait. The family knows who someone wants to be with. And I feel like this karmic is upset that it's not them. And they're asking, like, oh, you love this person more than me? Yeah, this person feels fulfilled. That's out here. Someone loves someone else. Somebody's apologizing to someone else. It says new love. Someone's going to be apologizing to someone else about how they treated them. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I made a lot of mistakes, but I really love you. Or this is a karmic saying this to someone. I'm like, yeah, I really love you. I know I was out here with three men and a baby or whatever the hell it is. Yep, freak. Fell right on top of karmic. <laughs> new love. Yep, somebody's getting a new love. Releasing this karmic. Testing your spiritual gifts. Some of you could be working on increasing your spiritual gifts at this time. Or somebody's trying to test your spiritual gifts to see what you know. Or something like that. Somebody could be... Man, I'm telling you. Somebody could be sending some... Spirits trying to spiritually attack someone to see how strong you are. They're going to mess around and find out. We both need to sacrifice in order for this to work. Yeah, somebody wants to sacrifice um, their ways in order for a connection to work. I feel like they're leaving behind some karmic behavior or karmic. And they're going towards a, a more fulfilling connection. So this is someone who's becoming enlightened here. Too much fluid swapping. Yeah, I feel like now, see, somebody's like, no, nah, this is too much to be sleeping around. There's two men and a baby out here. Um, it's just too much. Yeah, somebody wants to be unblocked. So somebody was blocked. Somebody was blocked. You sending someone to your answering service because there was a lot of stuff going on around them. Whether you know it or not, you just know that you you weren't getting what you wanted out of the situation. This person wants to be unblocked. I feel like they may be trying to let go of these freaky ways because they were dealing with a freaky karmic, okay? And now they say there's too much fluid swapping, so it makes me feel like the karmic wasn't faithful. <laughs> they were trying to be loyal and faithful to a karmic and realize it was a waste of their time. And now they don't want to sleep around or they don't... Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like, if you were dealing with someone um, and you feel like they were involved in some some shit, some third party stuff. They don't like the fact that the karmic sleeps around, but they can sleep around. Yeah, talk too much. <laughs> I guess I do talk too much. But anyway, somebody talked too much. Maybe someone was telling someone's business. You got sugar daddy out here and sugar baby. There could be an age difference between two people because with sugar baby, sugar daddy out here, someone may um, feel like the sugar baby talked too much or something. Beard game, oh, and meet the family. Somebody's um on the down low. And they could be afraid that someone's going to talk too much. Um, meet the family. Someone's about to meet the family. Hmm. <laughs> somebody, somebody on the down low wants to meet someone's family, try to I don't know why, what for. Well, let me shut up. I mean, that's a part of it. That's a part of it. That's a part of the cover-up. To get in with the family, knowing that they're struggling with their sexuality. Somebody wants revenge, though. I'm telling you, it's this damn karmic. I'm grown, I've grown tired of this. Yeah, somebody's grown tired of somebody always like coming after them. It's like they won't leave them alone. Somebody wants to move on from someone or something. Yep, guiding someone towards you. Someone's being guided towards you to leave behind something else. And yep, look, guiding you away from someone, guiding someone towards you. So there's something going on here where there's an exchange. 
All right, someone's letting go of their karmic ways to come towards a divine being. 